Well, good morning, guys, and welcome to the show. Today is, well, it's a boring day, and it is raining, and it pretty much just sucks out. Kind of been par for the course for the last couple weeks. If you've been wondering why there hasn't been like a regularly scheduled program like we were on stride there doing, after the holidays, things just went sideways. I'm not gonna lie, it was just kind of weird, and things got a little hectic, and the weekends, we weren't doing anything. Then. One thing led to another. I told Haley, hey listen, you're gonna have to really step up your game here and come up with some ideas. And so she has. What was your idea this week? Oh my God. That was a oh, quiet baby. burp for the show. <laughs> All right, good job. So proud of you. I went on to Instagram. I put on our story for a Q&A to ask us whatever questions you wanted to ask us. We're doing a Q&A. If you don't follow us on Instagram, it is at the boring life of Dean and Haley. She scoured the questions, found the ones that she likes the best, and I want to thank everyone for the submitted questions. They were superb. I was doubtful. I don't know why. I was parent. too. But I literally put on the story if we get any questions. Yeah, no, it was great. You guys did a wonderful job. I want to thank everyone yes. for submitting questions. We'll definitely have to do this again. There is a ton of them, so this may even be a Part, part two. one, two. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Lord knows we need the content. Hit me with the first one. Are there any downsides of being an internet icon slash celebrity? What has been the worst experience so far? For me, I haven't really had much. Dad, I would probably have more because, you know, he's more famous. <laughs> I'm actually going to counter that one with a really funny experience. Are we going to talk about the car show? Because I was going to talk about that too. <laughs> so what? We're no. walking through <laughs> this car show here they have called Slam Fest. It was in Tampa. I conned her to go with me along with a couple other guys that we know. As we're walking through the inside showroom, <laughs> a guy walks up to her and goes, Haley! And I, of course, I had my hat on, my sunglasses on. Not because I was trying to hide. It's just, as you all know, I have a shiny spot in the back it's of my head. It's hot. And it gets, and then also I had my sunglasses on because I forgot to bring my backup pair. I wasn't trying to like hide. They go up to her and say, Haley, Haley, where's your dad? <laughs> they were so excited to see me. And then they said, where's your dad? I of course dad? was standing right next and to her. And then he goes, Haley, can you take a picture of me and your dad? There's been plenty of times that Fernando have been out at like industry events and they will immediately recognize him. What will usually be happening is, is he'll be standing behind me talking that way and I'll be standing, you know, obviously. Yeah, I'll hear out of the corner mirror, where's Dean? He'll go, I don't know, man, I haven't seen him. <laughs> <laughs> and I, of course, will just play it off like, oh. and then I'll turn around and go, oh, there he is. And it's like, oh. it is kind of funny. But other than that, there's really not much, much to it. Hmm. Yeah. No. Haley, what is next in your life? Currently... Don't look at me. I'm just looking at you. I know. <laughs> Do tell. Currently, I'm working at an autism center. I'm going to start studying for my GRE. I can go to graduate school. I want to study for counseling psychology. Hopefully get my doctorate degree and see where it takes me then <laughs> she has all the support of us as long as she's doing that we're gonna back her as much as we can as parents i know that's one of those things as long as we're financially able to help her we're going to because i never had that opportunity my mom was a single mom of three kids you were left on your own to figure it out she did the best she could as two working adults we want to provide the best situation we can for our daughters we're pushing the hell out of her to keep going dean most people hate exercising and running in particular. What? Why do you like it? What are you talking about? I like exercising. You don't like running. Um, they says, yeah, they I said know. exercising and running. Running is awful. Okay, you play soccer, so I mean, I'll give you that. Way to go. I'm not a team sports guy. I don't like... He's not a team anything. <laughs> Probably not. This thing to a team is family. <laughs> yeah. Rough. I don't have, like, I don't play video games because my fingers and my eyes don't work together, so I don't have really good hand-eye coordination as far as, like, you know, like, throwing balls, catching balls, and running is just something that I can do by myself and challenge myself. I feel I'm my hardest critic. Running allows me to continuously hammer myself into, like, oh, you can do better. You should try harder. And I have no one to impress but myself. That's the, the struggle of it, but the reality of it is I enjoy running because it gives me time 
time when I get home from work to just kind of reflect, think of other things before I have to sit down and start my second job, which is editing videos for the YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> Go. Haley, who is your best friend? How and why did they become your best friend? This guy. No, I'm your dad. I can't be your best friend. That's a conversation every parent has to have so with weird. their kids. <laughs> Whatever. It is. My best friend. We're going to preface it with she has friends. There's one friend that is older yeah. as far as been a friend since a, a really so. long time. She's actually been in the video before. She's been on the Five Star Channel. You guys were on that one night with me when we mm -hmm. went to the hockey game and everyone uh, was like, was ooh, it got out. ultra creepy. <laughs> yeah, got uh, so weird. But she went to a soccer game once and the two of us, her and I, were kind of like on the sidelines talking. And who is your friend? Her name is Clarissa. And they've been playing soccer together for years. Yeah, probably I mean, like coming up on 10 years now we've been friends okay i had to think about that for a minute because i always correlate you know Maybe how like old i eight am eight or nine no no 10 probably yeah. pretty close yeah. well we met through our soccer team i don't know why we became friends i guess both goofballs <laughs> yeah i mean that's pretty much yeah. it you just both <laughs> we goofballs. both just had a good time together so always made each other laugh so that was we stuck together. And then she tried to break it by going to a different soccer team. But it's okay. It all worked out in the end. We all followed her. Yeah, and I was going to say. it was probably the best decision I made. Yeah, that was weird. Uh -huh. And you guys were roommates in college. Yeah. Haley, are your parents ever strict with you? Because they seem to be pretty chill. <laughs> <sighs> I would say yes and also no. I would, they are pretty chill. We just have a good communication system. So... I think they've always like trusted me because I've been able to talk to them and like just tell them whatever I needed to. I don't think they've ever been strict in that way because I've always been upfront and honest. I had a really good relationship with my mom. She was very open door with me because I saw the way my sisters were and they weren't that way. They were always trying to get away with something. I was choosing the path of least resistance. I didn't want to be the one that she had to waste time on. We had a very open dialogue between us. When I had a kid, I figured I wanted to have that same type of relationship. I didn't want her to feel like she couldn't come to me and talk to me about problems she was having played it kind of loose the only thing they've really like ever been strict about is like if i ride in a car with someone that they don't know like and like school and going to bed at a certain time now not really was... like crazy things no i mean for her it was funny because if she was bad all i'd have to do is go all right no tv and then she was a tv <laughs> kid man oh my god she still is a tv kid and i would say no tv and it was just like i will do whatever you say i'll do it fine Ow, quit. <laughs> you can't take my TV away, bro. <sighs> they did it one time. <laughs> And uh, it was the worst night of my life. <laughs> it was so easy. Uh, I mean, she was so easy for that, though. It was funny. <laughs> okay. Leading into that question, has Haley ever been caught sneaking out of the house? Absolutely not. <laughs> when I was a kid... It's too risky for me. <laughs> <laughs> When I was a kid, I didn't bother to do that. So growing up, I'd tell her stories about, you know, Grammy, she catched my older sister trying to sneak out of the house and stuff like that. And I was like, I wasn't gonna do that. So I would just get up and walk out the front door because if I'm going to sneak, that means I'm not honest. And I wanted to be honest about everything I did. I told her, you know, hey, listen, you don't need to sneak out your window. If there's something you need to do, all you have to do is ask. The answer might be no, but you don't want to sneak behind our backs. It's not worth it in the end. And Honestly, probably have so much anxiety <laughs> yeah. that I would just come back and not do what I wanted to do. Well, yeah, I mean... And, like, they usually said yes to whatever I asked, so I like to sleep, so there's no yeah. way I really needed to be that <laughs> way that night. Yeah, sne so. sneaking out, it's like, can we make it 2 in the afternoon? Yeah. I'll sneak out at 2 in the yeah. afternoon. <laughs> Whoa, 2 in the morning? <sighs> no, I would never. I mean, even now when... You know, she'll be like, I'm going out to meet some friends. I'll be like, it's 11 o'clock. Yeah. Are you sure you want to do that? She's like, no, not really. I don't, but, you know, it's like, okay. What is your favorite thing about the other family member? I would say my favorite thing about dad <laughs> is that he's so hardworking and whenever he wants. Go ahead. What? Nothing. What did you say? I said, how is that a favorite thing? It's great that you work all the time. What are you talking <laughs> I don't about? Know. Just tell, tell. You are very hardworking. I right? know. I think that's one of my favorite things about you. Why is it? Okay. 
why? What are you talking about? If you want something, you go for it. I think that's really great. Okay. I also, one of my favorite things is that you always know how to lighten up the situation. Sometimes I don't want you to, but <laughs> <laughs> it always helps. And that you're so funny and you don't really care. What I like about you... <laughs> I gotta think about this one because there's so not anything rude. I well no see the thing is there's not anything I really don't like I mean so sometimes you made me this way well yeah that's the thing I mean I tried to give you a sense of balance between my demeanor and your mother's demeanor and you decide which one you want to emulate I guess would be the way to do it unfortunately you picked my demeanor which I do like <laughs> But I also feel like I have to Jedi Padawan you and sometimes be like, listen, you got to dial it back a little bit. You're a little bit too inexperienced to be wielding the big lightsaber right now. You need to just, just come back. That's fun. At certain times, it amuses the crap out of me. But it also breaks my heart just a little bit because I know the person on the receiving end of that is devastated. Everyone always says I'm your child. Oh, yeah, there's no question about it. There's no question about it. <laughs> That's it? That's all you have to say? That's good enough for now. Dang. <laughs> okay. I like your hair. No, I don't know. <laughs> what is your favorite potato chip? Bringing it down a notch. Ooh, all right. Mm. So we got to think about this for a minute. Does a pretzel count as a potato chip? This is a debate for the ages. Yeah. So in it's your in book. It's in the chip aisle. Okay. <laughs> Now, then the other thing is, is can we just talk about one chip in particular or can we talk about a bag of chips? Okay, I say that because, you know, the Lay's, whatever, whoever Doritos is, they have that bag of munchin mix. That's... That has like... The, Cheeto munchies. Well, yes. No, the, that has like the Doritos. Yeah, munchies. Yeah, I like, to me... You never get those. I get those all the time. I don't buy them a lot because it's like expensive for a bag of chips. I mean... Well, to me that's okay. the perfect. To me that's the perfect non-committal bag of chips. So I don't think that counts because I mean what? I feel there's five different flavors in there and you got to pick one. No. I think you have I to pick one. Counts. I don't think it counts. I want it to count because that's the easy way out, but I don't think it can count. I think we have to narrow focus down, stranded on a desert island. Oh my god, this munch is so and dramatic. Munch mixes out. It could be a tropical island. It doesn't necessarily have to be a desert island. I'd prefer it to be a tropical island. Okay. I don't really know what my favorite bag of chips is. What about the it, barbecued Fritos? Yeah, those are pretty good. I could eat a whole bag. Your mother would be like Funyuns or Bugles. Funyuns? Funyuns. <laughs> they're onions, but Ew. they're Funyuns. She always gets the worst bag of chips when we stop. I don't understand why stop. she'd eat Funyuns. Oh my gosh. Because she hates onions. Bro, she hates onions, always, gets I, onion rings all the time, and Funyuns. And you're just like... calling them that. I like saying it. Makes it fun. <laughs> Funyun. Oh my god. That's my southern imitation. You don't have that. I okay, know, but I but have anyways, to have fun with it anyways. Anytime on road trip, she gets bugles or Funyuns, and I hate it. Those are the worst chips ever. Side jag. I had never had a bugle in my life They're until awful. I married Sue. They're awful. Didn't even know that was a thing. The only thing cool I about like them, them is that you can put them on your fingers and pretend to be a witch. But either I just... <laughs> They're so gross to me. <laughs> They're I like plain. them because you can... It's like an ice cream cone for chip dip. It's just... <laughs> Yeah, you need chip dip because they're so nasty. I like them. Ugh, I like them, but they're not my favorite. I don't think we even answered the question. Well, what is your favorite chip? I don't know. I mean, okay, I'll run it down. I like, you like Fritos barbecue chip twist. Yes. I like Cheeto puffs. I like Doritos. Doritos. But you like Cool Ranch Doritos. I used to like Cool Ranch Doritos, oh, but it's Corona changed. decided to. So you just like regular Doritos? I like today, all day today. I was thinking of nacho cheese Doritos. I wanted to go Why get them. Why don't we go get some? Because I just, I don't know. Who is old enough to remember when Doritos used to have square corners, you know, the sharp corners on them, and you'd take a bite out of one, it was like... <laughs> oh, you're eating Doritos? Yeah. Now they have the rounded child safe bags of chips. Okay, what's yours? Pretzels. I love pretzels. And Cheeto puffs. Ooh. Popcorn puffs. Yeah, popcorn puffs. The Cheetos poofs for... What are they, $2.99 a bag? Yeah. It's Because it says it on there. I feel bad for the retailer because you can't get any more for it because it's like, they're $2.99. No, we're going to print it on the bag. And they're only 140 calories for the whole entire bag. I so don't, you don't feel guilty. <laughs> I like them because unlike regular <laughs> cheese puffs, which I don't like because when you eat them, your mouth is just like, 
the, it goes everywhere. Like I made the mistake. We had a couple bags under there for the kids, and I took one that worked the other day what? of the cheese puffs. I took one to work the other day. Why are you looking like all, like, oh my gosh. Because I said not to eat those ones. Apparently she likes cheese puffs. I won't eat them ever again. You have nothing to work. They get stuck in your teeth and it sucks for like two hours. Yeah, but they taste so much better than the regular kind. Oh, they're so gross. What is the worst thing that Haley has ever gotten in trouble for? I gotta think about that because she's honestly been a really good kid. I think it's more of the fact like when she does something stupid and you just sit there and go, why? When she was a kid at daycare, they were playing like some stupid game where they're running around the playground and they kept saying, <laughs> don't run up the slide backwards. Don't run up the slide. I mean, you don't go up we the slide. We are playing freeze tag, down. okay? I'm right. very competitive. And they had just a little topper on the, on the slide so that I guess kids wouldn't jump off. She goes running up the slide backwards it's right after they slide. told her not to and she splits her head open i get the call sue gets the call it's towards no, the end of the day my, you guys didn't get any calls i got a call my, no you don't know no you're not mom called you yeah i got but a call mom did not get a call she came to pick me up and heard a child screaming from the inside i know it was you and, no one of the parents came out and said i think that's Haley in there you should probably hurry up oh because i can and pick your scream in, up a mile away and i was covered in blood sue was Freaking she's not out. very good with that kind of stuff. No, she's already in tears, freaking out. Her little girl's dying. <laughs> and I, of course... You would have thought. I, of course, hop in my car because I was like three minutes away, drive up there. At this point, they'd finally got her calmed down. And you ruined Both it. of them, Sue and Haley. And I walk in and I go... I see the little cut. It's a little, it's a little tiny cut. And I go... First of all, can't see the top of my head. I go... So you know. I go... Oh, that's no big deal. I'll put a couple stitches in it. We'll be fine. Let's go. <gasps> I'm like, calm down. I was like five or six years old. Okay. So I, I pick her up. I put her in my car. We drive up to the urgent care center up the street. I look like I had gone through the biggest trauma. Looks like I just killed I her. I was wearing a white shirt that day. Yeah. It was. It was beautiful. Just picture it. <laughs> We get inside, they clean up her head, and they're like, yeah, we're gonna put some stitches in there. They go to Haley, is that okay? And she goes- I got staples, not She goes, stitches. Can, can't you just put a boondaid on it? Cause that's what she called them, boondades. <laughs> and I go, no. They started laughing at So me. they go, well, we're gonna numb it. So they do Worst that. pain in my life. And, and she's like, this hurts so much. I'm like, relax, you'll be fine. <laughs> and then they put the, the metal staples in and you hear the click. And if you've ever gotten those, you know what it sounds like. But for those of you who never have, it sounds like an old school pen when you go click, 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 click. Put three or four staples in the top of her head. They're just clicking away. And she goes, what's that noise? And I said, she's thinking, she's writing, because the nurse, the person was behind her. And I said, she's writing something down on her pad. And she's clicking her pen. And she goes, oh, okay. But after like the fourth click, I said, all right, we're done. Let's get out of here. And she goes, don't they still have to do it? I said, no, that was the clicking. She was putting the staples in your head. And she's like, what? I'm like, I'm done? I was like, yeah. That's after the all of this, so, I got a sticker. She gets a sticker. We go home. How ridiculous. We go home. I don't remember where mom was after that. She took a while to get home. All I know is we got <laughs> home. And she's like, take a picture of it. I want to see what it looks like. Because now it's cool. All right, we just went through two hours of... <laughs> <laughs> now I, I got to take a picture of it. I'm showing her. And she's like, wow. <laughs> that's the top of my head? And I'm like, yeah. Wow. And she really didn't get in trouble for that. It was just one of those life lessons where the trouble was they told her not to do it. And she did yeah. it anyways. This is my fault. So cause and effect, I feel, is something that these kids have to learn. Um, when somebody and, tells you to do something and you don't do it. And anytime I see a child going up a slide backwards, I get very angry. I think the biggest thing I've ever gotten in trouble for was lying and saying that I completed my homework, but I didn't. And I played on the computer instead. And then you found out I had homework and you got very mad. Yeah, that would happen. That's yeah, like pretty much it though. Because homework was the uh, number one thing. Number one thing. School is first. Always yeah. school first. Because in my life, school wasn't first. And well, <laughs> I became a car stereo installer. Yay. If you could be anyone famous or historically important, who would you be and why? So the reason why I wanted to keep this question was because it wasn't necessarily if I would want to be somebody famous in history. But one of the things we often talk about is going back in history. Like if there's a time to go back in history and like see things. When I was younger, I was always a big fan of like the 50s and 60s the hot dog stands like the drive up eating kind of like the 
what Sonic has become, but the original, like with the chicks on the roller skates and the mm -hmm. cool cars that I absolutely hate to work on, but I don't mind going to see. I thought that time would be neat to go back and see that. Now, I would want to go into the future and see what's cooler, but I don't know if I'd ever want to be anything famous. Like there's no person that I'd want to be. Yeah. I just would want to travel in time. Like if you could pick a time to go back into, what would it be? I mean, unless you got somebody famous you'd want to be, but I, I don't think that's- I don't that's... really want to be anybody. Yeah, you like being yourself? Yeah. I mean, I like being me too, but where, what time would you want to go back and like see how the pyramids were made? No. Uh, would you want to go see us in I, high school? Yeah, I think I would like, want to go back to like the 70s and 80s. See young, see, like, young parents or just like do your own thing? Just like well, see- I want to see like you guys, like how you guys were but also like that time i just think like how they dress and what they like the style of then was really go see cool. like stranger things at the mall kind of thing yeah like how we all be like what are we doing today oh we're going to the mall yeah. that's totally awesome like having that experience of like not really being dependent on technology yeah and just, oh like, good call having definitely to interact with people <laughs> actually have to have a conversation with somebody yeah we were talking about that the other day because and like play with toys and just like yeah because <clears throat> i've been doing my job for 30 almost 31 years now and when i started there was no internet there was no yeah. there was magazines it was just a weird world and talking to some of these younger guys doing it like oh bro i just do this i'm like it didn't exist yeah. like that, that wasn't even a thing and they just look at you like and then we look at like sebastian which is fernando's kid yeah and, and like kids now are growing up on ipads and but not only that they're but, not even going to know what a cassette is or a yeah. cd for that matter yeah these are things they will have a rotary phone yeah it's just weird but i think that would be pretty interesting what would your life be like if walt disney was never born I would have a lot more money in the bank, as you can tell from the shelf behind me, and we wouldn't have to pay to go to those places. I feel amusement parks would exist regardless if he wasn't there. Yeah, I, I think so too, but... I think the world would be a worse place without it, regardless of what you think of Disney as a person. Do you think what he did created so much happiness in the world, really brought so much excitement, and he was very innovative for his time? I think it was a hard-working dude. Mm -hmm back in that time that who spent the weekends with his daughters wanting to maximize that time the best he could and realizing that there really wasn't any place for that to happen other than these small little parks and stuff like that he wanted to create an environment where families could go after working all week long or vacationing and just spend time with their family it has turned into something way bigger than his original mm -hmm. plans but even like without the theme parks like the character that he created mickey mouse Mi yeah mortimer mouse obviously look at him now any child who sees mickey mouse gets instantly excited when Grayson's here which is the little kid that we Sue watch. babysits right about the time I have to leave Daisy's bow shop or whatever it is comes on yeah, TV Minnie's Minnie's bow shop sorry Daisy's the duck it's like a girl TV yeah. show but as soon as the song for that comes on whatever he's doing he stops and does this yeah he, he doesn't it. care about he loves that show mm -hmm. it's, it's only like a five minute show yeah it's like a little cartoon but he just digs whatever Minnie is saying yeah I think the world would be obviously a lot different I don't know if it would be sadder or not is that a word sadder, <laughs> sadder. Uh, it is now Haley know. coined it put it in the dictionary <laughs> move on I think there would be something that would replace it yeah I don't maybe know. we got in the Bugs I'm Bunny just... theme park I'm glad that he exists yes. and was born.